Hey guys, welcome back to Gaming with Pan. I finally managed to get this 6 win in Retro Royale. In the previous video, I lost at 3 wins on all 3, what do you call, wins and then 3 losses. I'm con it con the chest contains only 2 rares, which is not good, not in a single epic. And sorry, I couldn't save up the magical chest. I don't know, it automatically opened or what, like it automatically opened. So sorry for that. Now I have crown chest and features to uh, open, then I'll open it after this video. I'll show you my six wins. Then I entered one more time, the Retro Royale. I got two losses in the starting. No, seriously, two losses in the starting. This one. Till Ichi the Killer, it was yesterday. And then this Kunal Yadav. I got two losses over here, which I'm not going to show because it's pretty dumb. And then directly six wins. See this one. This one was a bit funny because that guy failed one his rocket once. And uh, today I have gaming with Pan member with me. Um. And um, and a hawk took like five shots. Yeah. And this okay. member will be helping me today in the video. And yeah guys, tomorrow I'm gonna do a tourney, 100k gems, it will be a live streaming. It will be a live streaming tourney, a 100 gems tourney and stay tuned for that tourney. And today I'm just gonna show you the battles by which I won the secret royale and I'm gonna tell about this deck, not this one, the next deck. After this battle I switched the deck. And then I actually like managed to get six wins with that. So I'm just gonna be telling about the decks and then opening of the chest. That will be for today's video. And then just stay tuned for that tourney, upcoming tourney, which will be tomorrow. I'll do live stream. And uh, yeah, so let's just see this. Okay, so. We are currently losing, you can see. But then, just see how we do, we do a comeback and then win this game. Because it was two lose and one zero victory. So it was of course intense. I don't know why I started minions at the back, which I shouldn't have done. And just to get that chip damage, I fireballed that. Uh, those arches. It was not bad actually at that moment. Then you'll again put minions. Minions are also. No, minions are not that annoying. He again fireball. That's the worst part. He always he like he kept on fireballing and he was gonna take the tower. And now the funniest part will come. He'll rock it and actually miss the tower. He actually missed the tower. <laughs> that was the funniest part. But then he had fireball and rocket, which actually like he took out the tower with that. Because there are 20, still 20 seconds left. And 463. I guess that's the exact damage the rocket level 7 does. So he managed to take that tower out. It was, a, it was pretty annoying by after that. But it was still okay. I don't know what to do. I just like did that. Did not want to waste elixir. And I guess that was pretty much end of his game. If we wouldn't have fireball and that zap, like I don't let him touch my tower, and then I took so much damage. I did so much damage on his one. That was pretty fun. That musketeer was doing work over there, which was not good. But then, at least we prevented that, just to get some tip ship damage away. And then this was the end part. I also started. He also started with Hog Rider. And that Hog Rider with no health. 
took the tower. That was close. That was damn close. That if I would have lost that, it would have it would have been like zero wins and three loss. Like I'm just gonna be going through all the battles and telling about this deck, this battle deck. Here I'm using Hog Rider, Goblins, Spear Goblins, Arrows, uh, Skeleton Army, Fireball, Inferno Tower, and yeah, that's it. Musketeer. He just started a Valk and Hog Rider. I don't know what to do. I just started a Hog Rider Goblins push. We did a Tower exchange over there. Was, which was not bad and I did more damage than him in the crown tower so we are currently winning you can say those musketeers won't cancel each other because I have spear gods to support it whenever musketeer is going alone and you have elixir to elixir just go for your spear gods and go for Yeah. I don't know why I did that skeleton army, but I don't know. I clearly don't know. Because I guess I was under pressure as I had only one win and two loss, which was pretty bad. And then he again missed my hog rider. He just missed my hog rider. That was funny. And I managed to take like a lot of damage. I'm actually fighting Jao Nunes too from Uzamaki's. That was a fail freeze by him as my musketeer like watched the hog. Yeah, see, never leave a musketeer alone. Just like sub with good support troops, which is better. Then I guess uh, my opponent left the game, so I just like started my push. He don't leave the game actually. He just gave up. We are going to be posting more and more Clash Royale videos, stay tuned for that. Tomorrow the tourney, 100 gems tourney will come. If I am not able to do live stream, I'll post a video about it, the tourney. And let's see our third win with two loss. From Junander1199 from early Joe's, or maybe Junander99. I don't know if it's L or 1. It's L, isn't it? L I Joe's. No, John Drell. Is it Drell or L? Um. Let's just leave it, whatever. Yeah. He just sent a Valk and Hog Rider. I don't know why do people use Valk and Hog Rider. That's annoying. But then I just sent only a Hog Rider and did a lot of damage. And his Valk and Hog Rider could not even touch the tower. And I don't know why he put that Goblin Battle behind his tower. I have no idea about that. I just fireball that wizard over there just to get ship damage on the tower as well. Those musketeer cancels each other and, and wizard does not take any shot on the tower which was pretty good and then quick push was the only way I could manage to take touch the tower. Yeah, now the worst part came. Bomb tower, he showed it. Which was damn annoying at that moment of time. Which was super annoying. That bomb tower. Whenever I put a hog rider, he just puts his bomb tower. But still, whenever you see bomb tower coming in with this deck, just fireball. Yes, skeleton army as a defense card, musketeer as a defense card. Hog rider, goblins, spear goblin as a offense card and you can use musketeer also as offense but for now like for retro royale if i'm talking about yeah i'm talking about retro royale for that uh, just like use musketeer as offense like that for rider pick push and musketeer that's good that's good over there I actually did not let him touch the tower, which was pretty nice. Yeah, he touched it. Sorry, my bad.
Not sure, we are just gonna be playing like that. I fireballed it. So just to get the chip damage as well. I decided to fireball. I don't know why he put that goblin barrel over there. I guess he was cycling back to his hob rider or somewhat like that. But then, if I would have gone for a push, he wouldn't have cycled back to his bomb tower again. But then he actually managed to. And it was pretty hard actually. Then it came to overtime. It was like some battles, most of them were tense. I missed that bomb tower, but it was still okay. And then I put skeleton army and arrow. Oh wait, no, sorry. I put musketeer. I have to put I had to put arrows but I saved them up for his skeleton army. In case he puts now he did not have the bomb tower, the best part. And then I managed to get that third win with two loss. And then we'll be seeing a fourth win against some um, guy from TKK. So I'll wait, sorry, not. I just put spare golf to get some chip damage away. And they actually like killed uh, half of the tombstone. But then we have full elixir, don't we? Just put goblins or somewhat like that. And if you have skeleton army, just put it behind your tower. And then I'll just fireball all of that. And then musket. He, well, he zapped at the end moment. I don't expect that. So I don't know why I put that skeleton army. I clearly don't know. But then it was not bad also. So we are just gonna be doing that. Yeah. Now you put Hog Rider. Was okay. There was not a big problem. In the in this battle, Hog Rider did. I don't give a damn. Just now it did once, and then it will do it again. Hog Rider will just like ignore. Sorry, ignore the tombstone. We'll see upon that. And now I don't know why he put that giant over there. He did not even have elixir to like put some other things. Like seriously. Look. It just did. I don't give a damn. Oh God, it did. I don't give a damn. It will do one more time. Oh God, is just ignoring the tombstone. Then even his my his or rider did because my infant tower placement wasn't good and then he got a positive elixir trade by arrowing my skeleton army goblins and all. Spare goblins as well. I'm just gonna f I you know I got a good amount of trade over there as like I just took out his musketeer wizard and knight and tombstone. That was pretty nice. This will be my clear fourth win after two losses and zero wins like this was a real comeback in the challenge this was pro this was damn pro then he should have given up because i knew he is not gonna win now i just like waited for that inferno to die and then put one more that's our fourth, no, fourth or fifth win. I guess it's fourth. Yeah, that was. This is our fourth win after two loss. And now it became intense as I needed to get magical chest. Let's see. Yeah, I got it, but this match was a bit hard. Not four, sorry. But I don't know why I always do four. From Iran, I'm fighting Iran from evil spirits. But still, our rider got like two shots, and he wasted seven elixir to block that, and I got damage as well. So it was a good trade. I I just put that in front tower like a lot behind. 
a lot more this at a lot more distance than I should have. I'm not arrowing those three minions. Because arrowing three minions is not like good. It's pointless. I'm just gonna be like fireballing that to get chip damage away and then the best part I got a positive like a trade in this one actually no it wasn't a it was equal elixir trade as is no actually it was a positive elixir trade sorry my bad After these battles, I'm gonna be opening six wins, Ritter Royal Chest. I'm gonna be opening a crown chest, hoping for a legendary and a free chest. This time, I've put the Infernal Tower correctly. Stay, yeah, guys. I'm telling again and again. Stay tuned for the tourney coming up tomorrow. Hundred gems tourney. Stay tuned for that. Then I guess he'll show the P.E.K.K.A for this first time. Showtime. He'll show now I guess for the first time. This time I did not fireball because I was waiting for him to put something. Okay, that's when I fireballed. I decided to fireball. Then I just put skeleton army. And I cycle back to my infinite tower and kill that P.E.K.K.A. That was nice work by Skeleton Army, then I went quick push. Use Musketeer as often, so only sometimes if you're using this deck. Because most of the times you don't need to like, use it as offense. And we're just gonna put Skeleton Army. And arrowing that Skeleton Army, he thought that I won't have arrows. This will be our fifth win after two loss, which is pro. And then, I was like... And then I don't know if the magical chest automatically opened. If uh, it wouldn't have opened, I would have saved it up for this channel, this video. That's our fifth win with two loss, which was damn pro. And then the moment of truth. Can we get the sixth win? We got. See how I don't let him touch my tower, uh -huh. or maybe he touched it at the end. But for now, I don't let him touch the tower, which was the best part. He tried his best to not let him touch. Yeah. I don't know why he put that tombstone over there. Like, I can just go for a hog rider push. Then I decided to fireball. And then Muskiri actually managed to get one hit off the tower. And that Val got destroyed by Inferno Tower. Inferno Tower is your main defense card. Don't waste it. Inferno Tower and Skeleton Army. The rest all you can use as offense and arrows for like that minion node. I just arrowed. This was Jam Pro. Red Royal is actually good. Like you can just finish the game off at six wins. It's like you need to do the fifty percent hard work to win. Yeah, it's like twenty times easier to get twelve wins from getting twelve wins. You can get six wins twenty times easier than twelve wins, which is jam pro. I again went for a hog and this big push. I don't know why he did not place his tool for and he placed it there when he placed it as well. Those two spear gobs took out that valve. And till now, look, he did not touch my tower till now. Then he was gonna, but then still he did not touch it. He could not touch my tower. 
what was the best part again to get some chip damage i did that and then i put this and then musket he did not touch my tower yet that was damn pro like seriously he's not even able to like touch my tower this was the sixth win i don't know how he got to five wins as well i just needed to my ogre to take one shot and fireball now the best part came i predict one i predicted one fireball yeah that's i was expecting for that for sure i just put skelly army to defend that hog rider and then the best i started hog rider behind my tower in order to get fireball and then i just fireball and that was nice prediction and that's a good game he didn't even touch his tower yeah that's the best part at 6 wins he he came to 5 wins and then at the 6 when he could not even touch my tower so that was that was my clear cut win like after two straight loss now let's just open up these chests starting off with three chests okay two bomb tower and 10 bombs wow bomb all skeletons yeah. now let's open, open the crown, crown chest. chest i'm going to be opening up super fast okay i don't get anything But it's okay. Six hundred points. Nice. Ten arrows. Sixteen. Sorry, thirteen ice spirits and two ice golems. Not oh. bad. I'll take that. Yeah. I can go in retro royal one more time. Well, I will go for it. And now I actually have forty thousand coins. I can buy one bandit, which is pretty nice. It never came in my shop till now. But then whenever it comes, I'm gonna buy it. And I'm still. pushing to uh, legendary arena my highest trophies are 3556 wow my cards won in challenge chat is 1000 and total donation 17500 <laughs> that's funny okay so i guess that will be for today thank you i hope you enjoyed the video please like comment and subscribe